Are you an INFJ who's unhappy at work? You're not alone. As human beings, job satisfaction is crucial to our overall well-being. For INFJs, certain aspects of the workplace can be particularly distressing. Today we're diving into the six common reasons why INFJs might find themselves disliking their jobs. From stifled creativity to lack of personal growth, we'll explore each factor in depth. If you identify as an INFJ, these six reasons might resonate with you. So let's get started on this insightful journey. Reason 1. Lack of creative freedom. You see, INFJs are naturally creative beings. They thrive in environments that allow them to express their creativity. When you put an INFJ in a job that stifles their creative expression, it's like placing a fish on dry land. It just doesn't work. When their ideas are constantly shot down or they're not given the room to innovate, they feel boxed in, leading to dissatisfaction. For an INFJ, a job without creative freedom is like a bird without wings. Reason 2. Unfulfilling work. An INFJ is not just looking for a paycheck at the end of the month. They crave work that is meaningful, that contributes to a greater purpose. When the work feels hollow or pointless, it can lead to a deep sense of unhappiness. They yearn to make a difference, to leave a positive imprint on the world. Working just for the sake of working, without any deeper significance, can make an INFJ feel like a cog in a machine. An INFJ needs to feel that their work matters. Reason 3. Lack of personal growth. INFJs are inherently passionate about self-improvement and learning. They yearn for a job that nurtures their intellectual curiosity and encourages them to evolve both personally and professionally. When an INFJ finds themselves in a position that doesn't foster this growth, they can feel stagnant and dissatisfied. This lack of personal growth can stifle their creativity and dampen their spirit, making them feel like they are not living up to their full potential. An INFJ is like a tree always seeking to grow and expand. Reason 4. Inauthentic work environment. INFJs are natural truth seekers. They crave authenticity in themselves and in others. Fake smiles, office politics, and superficial interactions can be deeply unsettling for them. When an INFJ's work environment lacks authenticity, it can feel like they're living in a world that doesn't align with their core values. This dissonance can lead to significant job dissatisfaction. For an INFJ, authenticity isn't just a preference, it's a need. Reason 5. Too much routine. INFJs are naturally creative and curious, gravitating towards careers that offer a healthy dose of variety and novelty. They're not the type to be content with a monotonous 9-to-5. The predictability of a routine can quickly lead to boredom and ultimately, dissatisfaction. A job that is too routine can feel like a cage for an INFJ, stifling their creativity and quenching their thirst for knowledge and new experiences. An INFJ thrives in an environment that is ever-changing and dynamic. And finally, reason 6, lack of independence. INFJs are often drawn to the idea of carving their own path. They value the freedom to make decisions, to explore ideas, and to implement their own strategies. A job that restricts this need for autonomy can be incredibly stifling for an INFJ. They may feel as though their unique insights and innovative approaches are being overlooked or undervalued. This can lead to dissatisfaction and a sense of not being fully utilized. An INFJ needs the freedom to work independently. So there you have it. Six reasons why INFJs may hate their jobs. We've journeyed through the lack of creative freedom, where the suppression of their imaginative spirit leaves them feeling stifled. We've explored the void of unfulfilling work, where tasks don't resonate with their core values, causing discontent. We've delved into the stagnation of personal growth where the lack of self-improvement opportunities hampers their quest for development. We've ventured into the inauthentic work environment where dishonesty and superficiality are a constant source of frustration. We've examined the monotony of too much routine, where the same old, same old can lead to a sense of boredom and disconnection. Lastly, we've looked at the lack of independence where micromanagement and lack of autonomy can feel like a straitjacket to an INFJ's free spirit. Remember, job satisfaction is crucial. If you're an INFJ who's unhappy at work, it might be time to find a job that better suits your personality.